All right, guys, here's my microcycle after a long day's of work. Um, so I'm still working with a 14-year-old um, basketball player who's going to enter our program in probably a few weeks for summer ball and open gyms. Um, so my muscular endurance hypertrophy look pretty much the same in terms of volume and load. Um, I added a few sets. I added uh, an extra set to a few of the uh, exercises in hypertrophy because my understanding is that um, high volume, low intensity also increases, you know, not only increases muscular endurance, but also increases uh, muscle hypertrophy. So that's why you see that. Um, my total time in my total time in the gym for muscular endurance is 40, I'm sorry, it's 48 minutes but um, it's only 41 minutes um, of active, you know, working out time or lifting and rest time. Um, the hypertrophy came down a little bit, which was interesting. However, um, if you add this up, you'll see that the amount of time I'm at, my players actually lifting and the amount of rest is quite a bit less, quite about the same, but in less amount of time. So we're pushing the tempo a little bit here. Uh, strength, uh, I brought everything up to 80 to 85 percent with only five, four or five reps per set. Um, increased the rest to one minute per set. Um, gave them one minute to complete all of these. And then once I got to power, I was a little concerned because my total amount of time uh, before stretching was 56 minutes. But if you do the math, uh, my actual lifting time is only 12 minutes and 30 seconds. And I built in 14 minutes and 30 seconds uh, per set. So, you know, that's times three, and that'll get you to right around 56 minutes. So while we're actually in the gym a long time, there's only 12 minutes and 30 seconds of actually doing um, active um, workout. Um, and then here's my warm-up. Um, warm-ups are not – I mean, I left – I um, – I did my general dynamic warm up is the same across the board. It's jog, back pedal, high skips. Because for a basketball player, you know, and especially the girls that I have, they've been sitting all day most of the time and they just need to get up and move. So these aren't, I only give them 20 seconds rest after each because they're, they're not pushing very hard and this is just kind of get their blood flowing. Um, this right here, this dynamic warm up is very similar to what we do before actual practice. So I added those in. Um, this for hypertrophy added a little bit more you know, speed and acceleration and also some plyometrics. Um, for power, I took a little bit of a uh, leap of faith and added in some um, uh, yoga moves here. Actually, these three yoga moves combined together um, to do one uh, is very, it's taxing. And uh, Dr. D, before you blow my head off, I did actually do the research. There is an actual article. I mean, everybody knows it now, but somebody out in, down in 2001 or back in 2001 actually did um, they did quantitative uh, research that shows a significant increase and I think it was uh, elbow flexion elbow extension and shoulder extension muscle strength increase doing uh, hatha yoga and these are three of the, the chaturanga and the cobra pose and the downward dog are, are three of the poses that you do kind of in combination. And what I've got him doing is having him, you know, um, hold for five seconds and then move to the next one and move to the next one. And if any of you have ever done those, they're hard. And they're gonna be really hard for my, for my um, athlete. And then my um, power, I add a, a, some more plyometrics and bounding and box jumps. I don't add depth jumps again because she's only 14. I only do one set of bounding because she's only 14. Um, and box jumps, they're just going to be like on seats. I mean, on like risers, which are not that big because that's what we have. And that's kind of what we suggested. Um, the only other thing I'm going to say about this is that I, I, I built this under the assumption that this is an off season, um, not post season, not preseason, not in season. This is an off season load. Um, and so it, uh, this is kind of what I found, you know, as far as references, the book is my Bible I'm, because I'm so new to this. This is what I do a lot. So that's what I do. Thanks, guys.